The day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Saturday, December 11, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Washington Capitals vs Buffalo Sabres. Vitek Vanasek is expected to be the starting goalie for the Washington Capitals for this game and has been doing well. In his last game against the Chicago Blackhawks, he allowed three goals on 28 shots in a shootout loss. On the season, he is 4-3-5, while giving up 2.56 goals per game and a save percentage of .905. Washington has allowed 65 goals this season, which is fourth in the league. They have been a little above average against opposing power plays as they have killed 53 of 64, 82.81% of them so far this season. There's no rest advantage for either side as they both were in action Friday night. If there's any edge to be had, it would be that Buffalo was at home Friday night, while Washington had to travel up from Washington for this contest. With that said, the Sabres have really struggled after their strong start and they have had issues offensively of late. Buffalo has scored just three goals combined in their last three games, which makes things tough when you're facing a team like Washington. Akko Pekaluukkanen is expected to be in the net for the Buffalo Sabres in this game. In his last game against the Anaheim Ducks, he allowed a goal on 23 shots in a losing effort. In his career, he allowed 16 goals on 172 shots. Buffalo, as a team, has allowed 92 goals this season, which is 28th in the league. They have been around league average in power play goals against, 13, and power plays opportunities against, 61, so this defense should not be an issue there. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Capitals minus 1.5 against the Rangers. Buffalo played surprisingly well in their own end of the ice, but still came up on the short end of the scoreboard as their offense dried up. The opening period saw the Sabres outshot 12-6 and they trailed 1-0 after 20 minutes of play. In the second period, Buffalo held a 13-12 shot advantage, but they were outscored 1-0 to trail 2-0 at the second intermission. The third period saw the Sabres with a commanding 18-7 edge in shots, but they only managed to outscore New York 1-0 to wind up a goal short as time expired. Brett Murray got Buffalo on the board with his second of the year at 14-37 off assists from Kyle Poso and Mark Pissick. That was as close as the Sabres would get as the Rangers slammed the door. They had a potential equalizer with 56.2 seconds to play, but Rasmus Dahlin was ruled offsides on the video replay. Ukko Pekaluukkanen made 29 saves for Buffalo, who held a 37-31 shot advantage, and the loss. Aaron Dell is in line to start here in the second game of a back-to-back -back set. Our second betting advice is to pick over six. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cashback bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. Montreal Canadiens vs St. Louis Blues. The Montreal Canadiens are coming off a 2-0 loss to the Chicago Blackhawks. In the road defeat, the Canadiens gave the Blackhawks two chances at the power play, leading to one goal. Overall, they allowed their opponent to score on 8.0% of their shots. On offense, the Canadians finished the game being shut out, as they were unable to convert on any of their 30 shots. A key reason for the team going scoreless was their inability to generate or take advantage of their one power play chance. The St. Louis Blues are looking for some consistency, and what better way to get it than a visit from one of the worst teams in the league. Montreal comes in at just 6-22 on the year overall, including 2-11 on the road. They are now 2-14 on the road dating back to last year. St. Louis has their offense popping at the moment and they have averaged a solid 3.92 GPG at home, while Montreal has put up just 2.31 GPG on the road. 
Montreal has scored a total of 7 goals in their last 5 games and I cannot see them putting up enough goals to keep this one close. The St. Louis Blues are coming off a road win over the Detroit Red Wings by the score of 6-2. In the game, the team needed 26 shots to reach their scoring output. The Blues managed to score 6 times, despite not converting on any of their 3 power play chances. Defensively, they did a good job avoiding penalty time, giving the Red just one opportunity with a man advantage. Our first betting advice is to pick St. Louis minus 1.5 St. Louis has been a bit inconsistent of late as they have gone just 9 to 12 in their last 21 games after their 5-0 start to the season. St. Louis hopes to have started something as they come in having won their last two games in a row after beating the Red Wings by a score of 6-2. The Blues are going for their first winning streak of over two games since their hot start to the year. The offense has been hot of late as they have averaged 4.17 GPG, and that could be key here as Montreal may not have enough offense to keep up. Nathan Walker led the attack against Detroit with his first career hat trick in his first game played this year. Walker posted a total of three goals in his first five years in the league. Our second betting advice is to pick over. Anaheim Ducks vs Pittsburgh Penguins. John Gibson is expected to man the net in this upcoming game for the Anaheim Ducks. So far this year, he is 12-5-4, while allowing 1.92 goals per game, with 93.4% of the shots being saved. In his last game against the Washington Capitals, he allowed two goals on 31 shots in a winning effort. As a team, they have allowed 79 total goals, which is 20th in the league. They killed 63 of 73, 86.3% penalties, so if they can continue that trend, it will do wonders for them. The Ducks have won four of their last six games and three of their last four games on the road. They are playing very well defensively, giving up nine goals in their last four games. They've also played well on special teams, killing 86.3% of their penalties which is third in the league. Even though the Penguins are playing well offensively, they've struggled in recent home games and are 26th in power play conversion, so expect them to have a hard time scoring against the Ducks. The Ducks are also o playing well on the offensive end, and they fifth in the league when it comes to power play conversion. Our first betting advice is to pick Anaheim Ducks. Pittsburgh is averaging 2.96 goals per game. They scored 6 goals on 31 shots in their last game. Jake Gensel had 2 goals and an assist. Jeff Carter had 2 goals, while Sidney Crosby had a goal and an assist. Pittsburgh has played well defensively, giving up 2.56 goals per game. They gave up one goal in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to win this game. Anaheim is averaging 3.18 goals per game. They scored two goals on 26 shots in their last game. Isaac Lundstrom scored the lone goal in regulation for the Ducks. Anaheim has also played well defensively, giving up 2.71 goals per game. They gave up one goal in their last game and will need another solid defensive effort if they want to get the win. Our second betting advice is to pick under 5.5. 